Welcome to Golden Software's demonstration video for Grapher 10. This video will cover adding objects to current plots. To add an object to a graph, click Graphs, Add to Graph. Objects that can be added to a current plot are an axis, plot, legend, magnifier, and summation plot. These features are useful to create customized graphs that display all the desired information in an organized and presentable manner. To begin this demonstration, I'm going to create a new line scatter plot. Click Graphs, Create, Basic, Line Plot. In the Open Worksheet dialog, select ClassScatter.xls and click Open. If I wanted to display another data set or column, I can add another plot to the graph. To do this, make sure that some part of the graph is selected and then click Graphs, Add to Graph, Plot. This will allow us to add another plot to the graph with the same properties. The Select Plot Type dialog will appear. The plots listed in this dialog are dependent on the original type of plot in the graph. Also, note this feature is grayed out for pie charts because they cannot be combined with any graph types. For this graph, I'm going to select Step Plot and click OK. The Choose Axes dialog allows us to specify if we want to use the same axes as the line scatter plot or create new ones. To create a new one, click on the current selection and choose Create New Axis. I am going to go ahead and use the existing axes, so I will set these to the X axis 1 and Y axis 1. Click OK when finished. In the Open Worksheet dialog, select StepPlot.dat and click Open. Notice when the step plot is added, the line scatter plot is located to the right and the step plot is located to the left. Because the line scatter plot data is using dates for its x variable and the step plot uses small numbers, the limits are expanded to include both data sets. In cases like this, it makes sense to add another axis. We can add an x axis to the plot so that both the step plot and line scatter plot are visible. There are two options when adding an axis to a graph either axis or duplicate axis. The Axis tool will add an axis that has default limits. This is useful in situations like this, when a new plot on an existing graph uses different limits. The Duplicate Axis tool is used to create an axis with the same minimum and maximum as another axis. For this plot, we are going to add a separate axis that is not tied to the original axis. Click Graph, Add to Graph, Axis. In the Axis Type dialog, we are going to specify X axis and click OK. In the Position X-Axis 2 dialog, specify the settings, such as having the new axis display at the top of Y-Axis 1, and click OK. Now to use the new X-Axis for the Step Plot. In the Object Manager, click on the Step Plot 2 object. In the Property Manager, click on the Plot tab. Change the X-Axis to X-Axis 2. The Step Plot now uses the new axis and the limits are automatically adjusted. Now we can add a legend to the plot so that we can see which line corresponds to which plot. Click Graphs, Add to Graphs, Legend. A legend is created displaying the plots in the graph object. However, both lines are black. I'm going to change the color of the two plots on the graph so that we can see the difference. Notice that as I change the line colors, the line colors were automatically updated in the legend. The legend can be moved on the graph so that it is in the desired location. To move the legend, Click on it and drag it to the desired location. I'm going to add another line scatter plot to this graph. Notice how the three plots interact in the lower left section of the graph. In Grapher, we can add a magnifier to the plot to magnify an area in a 2D graph. To do this, click on some part of the graph to select it and click Graphs, Add to Graphs, Magnifier and draw a rectangle around the area that we want to magnify. A magnifying object is added to the graph and is zooming in on the area that we specified in the rectangle. The magnifier object can be repositioned on the graph so it is not obstructing the other plot objects. The last object that can be added to a graph in Grapher is the summation plot. The summation plot will add the Y values of a selected line scatter and function plots so that the curve equals the total of all the plots. This is useful to compare different graphs in a single location. In order for a summation plot to be created, the plots must be in the same graph, although they can have different axes. I'm going to turn off the legend, step plot, and magnifier so we can see the summation plot. Click some portion of the graph and click the Graphs, Add to Graphs, Summation Plot. The summation plot has been added to the graph. I am going to change the color so that we can differentiate between the lines. 
The summation plot, in red, displays the sum of the y values for both of the line scatter plots. The plots that are displayed on the summation plot can be edited by selecting the summation plot object in the Object Manager, and then selecting the Plot tab in the Property Manager. This concludes the overview of adding graph commands in Grapher 10. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact Golden Software.